Hey guys, I'm The Metal Jesus, and today we're gonna to take a look at the newly released Hyperkin Superboy S. This is a portable Super Nintendo that allows you to play physical cartridges. Now this is a follow-up to the previous model, and it has a bunch of improvements, as well as some things that are kind of baffling. Let's take a look. Alright, so here is the updated version of the original Superboy called Superboy S. I think Hyperkin's taking a note from Apple with the naming of that. But all you need to know is that it has some really cool features, including a larger screen than the original. It also has noticeably clearer audio, as well as full PAL compatibility. I'm going to show you that here in a second. Also some other things like five brightness settings for, for the screen and, and a couple other things as well. So let's jump right in and let's check out the game. So what does it support? Well, the cool thing about this handheld is that it supports pretty much every format for the Super Nintendo Super Famicom. So you can play NTSC games. So that's either the US or Japanese games, which is something that's pretty cool for me because I have recently started collecting Japanese imports. And then this is something new you can also switch it over to the PAL region. And this is pretty cool because essentially there are now, I guess literally thousands of games that are compatible with this. As for the screen, it's noticeably larger than the original. It measures out to 4.3 inches and it looks really nice. I mean, it's nice and bright plus like I mentioned before, there are different brightness settings. So if you are out in the sunlight, you can crank it all the way up. Uh, if you're in bed, you can knock it back a bit. The one thing I'm not crazy about is that you can see here, it's actually stretching the original screen to fit that widescreen a little bit. So it's not the original aspect ratio. It's not great. And there doesn't seem to be a way to set it to the original aspect ratio if you prefer that. Some other neat things about it is the rechargeable lithium ion battery. Now this thing charges with a micro USB port and it lasts for about 10 hours. So that's pretty awesome for, for a dedicated gaming device like this. Also the external stereo sound on this has been beefed up since the original and it sounds fantastic. Check it out. And then at the top of the device here, you'll see a little hole where you can insert an AV cable, which is included in the box, that will then allow you to send the signal out to your television, which is pretty cool because then the device becomes a normal controller. And if you happen to have some original NES controllers laying around, you can plug those in the front as well. So do I recommend you go out and buy the Superboy S? Well, it does depend on if you are a fan of the original. I mean, it is a portable Super Nintendo that allows you to play physical cartridges. How cool is that? But there are a couple things that kind of baffle me about it. One of them is the aspect ratio of the screen. Now it's not a, a deal killer, but it would be nice if it gave you the option. The other thing is, is that I don't know why this doesn't have HDMI out. Now, I have an old school CRT television, so I can use it if I want to, but I also have two newer HD televisions that it won't work with. So that's kind of a bit of, bit of a bummer, I would say. Uh, but again, not a deal killer. Uh, the other thing too that I ran into with this is that for some reason, it had problems playing some of my cartridges. And it was really weird too because I would take the same cartridge and plug it into my, my real Super Nintendo and it would boot up just fine. Also, it would work on the Hyperkin Retron 5. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe I just need to clean some of my cartridges. It's been a while. And those of you who collect physical cartridges, you know you occasionally have to do that, but just be aware. So, all right, I'd love to know what you guys think. Please post a comment down below. As always, I wanna thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing and take care. If you enjoyed this video, 
go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, I happen to release two, yes, two new videos every single week on Tuesdays and Fridays. I'm one of those crazy people who likes to make videos, so you're gonna wanna be subscribed. Thanks for watching.